Most people start with the rhythm, but today I decided to start with the solo itself. Here's how all the instruments came together around it. Okay, after this short snippet of the solo, I need to tell you something very important, and that's the why. Why did I do this? And the answer to that is actually very simple. I just wanted to have complete freedom over what I do with the solo itself and with the lead guitar. And then accenting that with the rhythm guitar, it was such an amazing experience to write it this way. I think that I'm gonna write future solos this way also. Okay, yeah, that's how amazing it was. Once the solo was done, we needed something very, very solid to keep it grounded. And so my friend laid down this drum groove on his electronic drum kit, which was a real pain in the ass to set up. <laughs> Doing the drums as the second thing was crucial for doing this part. And you will know exactly why in just a few seconds. Now we move on to the rhythm guitars. I kept the guitar tone a bit crunchy but not distorted, which was actually kinda new to me. And the way I did the rhythm guitar and the way this whole part is synchronized is that I've synchronized the kick drum with what the rhythm guitar was doing. Yeah, that like made this whole part do what it's doing right now and I think that it's very cool. I've kept it kind of palm muted the first time and the second time I went with more open sounding notes which signalized that we were getting into a different like vibe of the solo and we were getting into a different part. I've included some fast runs and I think that the rhythm guitars are actually kind of good. I like them. Like, I like them a lot. Okay, let's move on to the bass. The final thing we had to do was the bass. I did it through this exact MIDI keyboard, which is, oh my God, didn't want to do this. And I would love to tell you that doing the bass was the hardest and the most softest thing sophisticated yeah the most sophisticated part of doing this solo but it wasn't it was actually the easiest part but we did something interesting with the bass most of the time the bass was actually playing just root notes fifths and octaves of what the rhythm guitar was doing but at the end in the G major chord oh my god we played the third and that's spicy. Okay, I have to tell you one more thing before we get to the final result. That's that you can find the tabs for this exact solo down in the description on Patreon. There's also tabs for the song I have on Spotify called Neural Connections. And there will be also tabs of any future songs I will be releasing. You also have premium access to new music and stuff like that, so you're the first one to hear them. Actually, before it even gets to stores, it's in the description down below. Let's hear it. Starting with the solo straight away made this part 
very, very unique as for my riding style. And I think you should check it out also. I would love to know your experience with riding with this exact method and what you have written. So leave a comment down below. I will be checking out each and every single one of them. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button under this video. And now make sure to watch this video because if you've enjoyed this one, you're gonna enjoy it also. I'll see you then, goodbye.